What's up everyone, Big Jew here, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest IV. Yeah, this is the final chapter of the game, Chapter 5. It takes place in a town with no name, apparently. Whoa, that's, uh, that's pretty bad. How is this village supposed to make money and exist, where they just farm everything? Oh, it's the hero. So yeah, this pretty much continues where the prologue left off. Uh, left off. So cool. All right, nice. Let's do it. I already got everything here in the prologue, so I don't really care about getting anything else. So let's just go straight to my uh, dad. Give him this uh, sandwich, this uh, lunch here. Yeah, good weather. Both in the game and in real life. Really good weather out here. Really. Okay. Hmm. Gee, you don't look suspicious at all, do you? Okay. Oh, you moron. Oh, gee, I wonder. Hey, I'm sure we'll be alright. So, Eliza. Yeah, you were the one who turned into the frog in front of me. Yeah. Cool. Uh, I would, but, you know, I'm a silent protagonist, so I can't really say anything. Sorry. Let's see what this guy says. Really, the zap spell. A good spell. No, 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 teach me right now. I'm good. No. We gotta give the, uh, lunch to, uh... Ooh, jeez. Yeah, tell me about that. What's up, Dad? Yep. 18 years old, my and, and my mother still called me a boy. That's just... Okay, whatever. It's so five years ago. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and uh, go back home. Grab something to eat. Learn Zap. Absolutely. This way I can learn Zap quicker. What? Oh, come on. Oh, jeez. Yeah, we gotta get out of here. They may be at a higher level than me. And that wouldn't be good. Alright. Hmm. Yeah, that's, yeah. Don't worry about me, Eliza. We'll be alright. That sucks. Yeah, well. Nothing we can do about it now, I guess. Except to run. Let me guess. Th yeah. If, of course. Of course you're not my true parents. Yeah, this is where the, all those stereotypes begin. The whole stereotype of the silent protagonist. The stereotype of not having... Uh... Real uh, of ha of having a real parents elsewhere, all those RPG stereotypes began in Dragon Quest IV. So, yeah, whatever. Really don't care for that concept, to be quite honest with you. But yeah, I'm at level one. I mean, cool. Maybe some good weapon or something. The Big Book of Beasts. Really, swordsman. I would be able to fight if you didn't give me a damn book. Moron. I keep spitting on my uh, camera thing. My camera, not lens, but the other, the, uh, the display. What are you gonna do? What? No, 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 no. Oh God, no, no. Don't do this. Eliza, no. Oh my God, no. Sucks. Oh man. What happened to Eliza? What happened to my home? 
Yeah, get ready for one of the most graphic uh, scenes in uh, DS gaming history, in my opinion. This is pretty graphic. It's pretty bad. Holy mother of God. Dude. Oh my, man. They destroyed everything just to get to the hero. Is something there? A feathered cap. It's probably Eliza's. Oh my god. Wow. That is crazy. Look at that. Nothing. They left nothing. Man. No. But anyway, if your hero is female, uh, she can equip the uh, feathered cap. So that's pretty cool. But I'm not, so. Too bad. And they got like sad music for the chapter. Hey doggy. Let's go ahead and uh, raid this guy's uh, place. Fifty dollars and a uh, medical herb, very good. I'm gonna get some leather armor, nice. Yeah, our equipment is uh, pretty bad to be quite honest. Yeah. Not much to be desired, but leather armor for the win. And yeah, we can't equip the feathered cap. Uh, strength seed. Oh, I'm gonna put that in my in the bag. Uh, let me put my medical herbs in there too. And let me put the book of beasts in there. Uh, I'm gonna be selling the feathered cap for money, so don't worry about that. What's up, man? Ah, uh, cool. Uh, my hometown was just destroyed. You asshole. Sorry about the coarse language. Whatever, buddy. Dare. What a douchebag. But he let me steal. He let me steal all of his stuff. So I guess it's. I guess I makes up for it. Yeah, this is the castle he was talking about. This is... I don't know what the name of this place is, but I definitely want to join you. Aw, oh, come on. Really? Casa Branca. That, that's nice. That's nice. Awesome. So what are you in? Morocco now? Oh, that sucks. <laughs> I don't know how he's going to deal with them. He's the worst player in the whole game. Get some plain clothes, which I don't care about. Uh, let me raid some more of this, of this place here. Nothing, nothing. Nothing. What do you have to say? Oh, cool. I wonder if the hero is a chosen one. I wonder if he has anything to do with the uh, prophecy that we heard about in uh, the last chapter. That'd be pretty cool if the hero was the guy who would save the world and whatever. Huh. Well, how about I come to him with mine? What's up, man? Yep. That is a nice, strong name. It's the Big Jew. Okay. All right. Gotcha. Do I get a prize or anything? Do I get to marry your princess or something? Well, how about I save the world and then I'll marry you? Work for me. And someone also says something pretty interesting. Let me just go downstairs so we can find out what it is. Yeah, this woman. Okay, that's where I'm from. A young woodcutter. Gee, could there possibly be a connection? Yeah, that's uh... Yeah, so that's pretty much our real dad, I guess. Is that woodsman guy. So the enemies around here are pretty much the same as in the start of uh, chapter 4. Uh, but I don't want to really... I don't really care about it. I want to go down the... I want to go down this place here. Cool. Now, usually, what will happen, if this is your first game save, hold on, I got a couple more minutes here. 
If this is your first game save, you'll win, like, some tokens or whatever. Uh, that actually happened to me in my, uh, other file. You know, the files that I keep, uh, that I do all my grinding in. So, whatever, but... And you'll win, like, 2,000 tokens that you can use at the casino. I don't know why that didn't happen with this, uh, playthrough, but whatever. I think it's actually random, to be quite honest. Whether or not you get the, uh, tokens or not. I don't want to get to end order. Yeah, you can encounter enemies there, and if they if you do, they will murder you and kill you. But let's see what's going on in Endor now. Yeah, what's up, man? Oh, nice. Cool. Let's check that out earlier. Hey, it's uh, it's Maya or Mina rather. Cool. Yeah, why not? Sure thing. Okay. Hey, this is exactly what we heard at the House of Prophecy in the uh, last chapter. <laughs> nice. So long ago. So it must have been a few years since chapter four now, to be quite honest. I don't know, though. Hmm. I mean, the marriage is just beginning, so whatever. Hmm. Cool. Alright, Mina joins us. Yeah. Sweet. Let me readjust everything. Cool. <laughs> yeah, you don't want anyone like that to be hitting on a on an exotic dancer even though it's very, very, very common. Ugh. Alright, uh, tokens in chapter 5, um, cost, I think, 20 gold coins, yeah, so, there we go, we'll be getting any right now, we'll be getting them later on, though. Let's one of these. Hey, this is Mina. What's up? Or Maya, rather. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, yeah, good stuff. Only be doing what uh, only she's only gonna do what we tell him. So what we tell her. So there you go. Just get down on your knees and all right, all right. Enough of that. And yeah, bag uh contents will carry over from chapter to chapter. So if we when we meet Taloon or Alina or Ragnar. Uh, their bag contents from the end of their respective chapters will go inside of the bag in this chapter. As you can see, we have quite a bit. So there we go. Good stuff. Yeah, I bought an iron fan and a holy lance before chapter 4 ended there. So we can get all the most money that we can. Anyway, so now what we want to do is... Yeah, get some new, <clears throat> get some new equipment for the hero. Next time on Let's Play Dragon Quest IV. This is the Big Jew telling you to keep being awesome. Peace.